Thank you, Madam Chair, Ranking Member Udall. Thank you for being here, Administrator Pruitt. I want to talk a little bit about uh, a few parochial issues for me. Um, last year, um, you committed to working with Superfund communities in Montana to increase transparency and solicit additional public input. I applaud that. Um, I am glad to hear that EPA and BP ARCO are finally moving forward the framework agreement to cleaning up Butte and hopefully can move forward soon with Anaconda. But due to a court order sealing uh, consent decree negotiations, the people in these communities uh, don't know the broad strokes of what the cleanup is going to look like. So the transparency hasn't happened and the public input hasn't happened. Um, are you willing to ask the court permission to share at least an overview of the proposed cleanup actions with the public? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, in, in Senator, if I might, uh, with respect to Butte particularly, I think we, I think there, with the January action this year, um, as you know, there's some delisting that's occurring, and, and we're making progress, but there's work left to be done. Yeah, okay. But I'm encouraged where we are. Uh, one of the key things is is that that the the Butte community and the Anaconda community also, to to an extent have not had input on this. Uh, the stuff's been done sealed up, secret, non-transparent at all. Um, you will ask the court for permission to open that up and you will share it with the public? Justice would have to do that. So we would have to work through justice to achieve that, but, le but we will make that request. Oh. Uh, and, but, but, but let me say this as well. Uh, we've had people on the ground, as you know, in Butte yeah. and other places soliciting and, yeah. and, and trying to get comments. So we. Yeah. Uh, I got it, but but you understand. I mean, this has been going on for a long, Why long not? time in Butte, in the community, and I think you agree by your statements last year. I just want to make sure we follow up and do that. The community needs to have input, so they need to know what's going on. They can't they can give input, but it's like you know what I mean. You got to know what's going on with the with the decrees in order to be able to give adequate input on how to move forward. And that's all I'm asking for you. It's and been a point. Of, absolutely, it's been yeah. a point of emphasis. In each of these areas that we have focused upon, the community involvement, yep. and, is, and and with that goes the opportunity to potentially listen to that input and change those decrees to meet the needs of the community as we negotiate the enforcement. Yes. Okay. The OIG September report. Thank you for that. The OIG September report on Superfund staffing issues cited that a lack of even remedial investigations on on the West Side Soil Operable Unit in Butte is a prime example of how understaffing can delay efforts for decades. We don't even know if people in water are at risk, but we do know, uh, at least we think we know, that there's arsenic, cadmium, copper, lead, zinc, you know, all the impacts of that. Uh, this is a human health and safety issue that's been in place for decades on one of the largest Superfund sites in the nation there in Butte, a site that EPA has recently flagged for immediate intense action, your agency. And yet there's still only one employee on the ground there on the site. Um, and I understand in between him and your regional director, they're working to engage people on the ground to get the ball rolling, but haven't given them any additional resources or staff to get that ball rolling. Now, how are these sites going to get cleaned up? Even high priority sites like Butte, which, which have real threats to human health and water, if they can't get the resources they need for even basic risk assessment. Yeah, so we, we have sent individuals from headquarters here and also the region to engage with Butte. And, and I, I made the comment in response to the question just a minute ago. Yeah. I mean, the funding from Congress with respect to Superfund is important. It's yes. something that we want to encourage increasing. Uh, I'm thankful that in the omnibus that that was increased. But yes. those monies, Senator, largely go through, go toward those orphan sites that, that don't have a responsible party. So the personnel side of things, we will work with the regions to achieve uh, better coordination to make sure there's an allocation of resources to address these high priority areas. I think what you're referencing is the administrator's list yeah. uh, that, that uh, put Butte on. Yes. Uh, and so it is absolutely a point of emphasis but, as far as engagement and getting people on site to help. I, I got that administrator Pruitt, but it takes more than just putting them on a list. You, I understand. They've got to have the manpower. They've got to have the resources or it doesn't happen. They get on a list and that's as far as it goes. And I'm just asking you, uh, t to make sure that they do have the resources and the manpower. It's because it's, it's, you know, it's not going away unless we deal with it. I agree. Okay. So, so let me ask you this. I, I don't think Butte is singular in the problem. To, I think there's 1,700 sites, I believe. 1,340 plus. 1,340 I, plus. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll take your numbers um, that have been, uh, yet the OIG says that the, that the staff, the offices are understaffed 
and yet we get the proposal that the Superfund um, budget is being cut. Did I read that wrong in the budget? Uh, the proposed budget actually proposed a cut, yes. So, I mean, you got, we just had the conversation about evaluation. We just had the, <laughs> and. Sometimes yeah. I'm not as, as persuasive as I want to be with OMB. <laughs> Okay, all right. Yeah, yeah. I, I pick up what you're laying down. Okay, thank you. Um, the community of Libya struggled with asbestos, uh, uh, highest rate of asbestos-related diseases. Yeah, go ahead. But, but it is important, Senator, with respect to these levels of funding for things like Superfund. I mean, yep. leadership, leadership of this program is important. Yep. Funding is equally important and focusing on getting results. And, and what's happened for a number of years, the reason we have a butte Look. situation is a lack of awareness, Look, leadership, and accountability to achieve outcomes. So we, we are committed to there, making sure that's happening. There are plenty of things in this EPA under your administration that I could be critical of, trust me. But you have made a commitment to clean up Superfund sites. We happen to have three of them in the state of Montana. I just want to make sure that we get on the same page and actually work together to clean those Superfund sites up because I agree with you on that. And I think it's really, really important. But talk is cheap. And people and resources are important because these things don't go away unless we spend what we need, whether it's in manpower or whether it's in actual dollars, to get them cleaned up. And so I thank Agreed. you for that. Action results matter. You better believe it. It yeah. does. Thank you. I will put the asbestos question for the record because I'm out of time. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Tester. Senator Kaplan.